From the back of the back lot of a movie studio in Hollywood, it's the Tom Likas Show. I have been with women from around the world. And now, and now, here he is, Tom Likas. Thank you for tuning into the Tom Likas Show. This is where America gets together to talk about the issues you really care about. It's a different kind of radio talk program. We're the radio talk show that is not hosted by a right-wing wacko or a convicted felon. No, I am your host. Write down our telephone number. You're going to need it. It's 1-800-5800-TOM. 1-800-5800-866. Thank you for tuning in. Thanks for being part of our program. Here we are together again on the radio. Now, you know, we uh, he read a letter from a guy who said that his buddy was going to get married to a single mother. And the uh, father of her kids was not paying his child support. And so she's been asking her fiancé to adopt her children, which he's thinking about doing. And I, of course, thought that was really, really stupid. And it's something that he'll realize later on after the sex wears off. After she has his last name and his name on the dotted line of the adoption paperwork. And the sex tapers off. And and by the way, as time goes on, the sex tapers off. <laughs> That's what's going to happen. Then he's going to realize he's a maroon. As Bugs Bunny once said, he's a maroon. <laughs> but... Um, you know, uh, we had a conversation with a number of people. Uh, we had talked to a caller named Jack. And uh, Jack stupidly believed this woman he was porking who showed him fake medical papers that said that she'd had a cyst on her ovary and could not get pregnant. So he went ahead and had sex without a condom. And God damn it, a medical miracle happened. The girl he was banging um, got pregnant and then, of course, demanded that he step up to the plate and take responsibility. So he has been uh, not only paying court-ordered child support, but he has also been uh, taking the kid into his home every couple of weekends, not because he wanted to spend time with the kid, just simply because everybody in his family was giving him a hard time about it. And... uh I was amazed at that because nobody could ever guilt trip me into doing that. Ever. Ever. Now, I've tried to make this clear, but I don't know if I have, so I want to make it clear. Everybody who knows me knows I don't have children. That I decided at eight years old I did not want to have children. I've made this really clear. Nobody can change my mind about that. Oh, yes, they've tried, but they can't. And I know there are women out there who think, oh, don't worry, he'll change, don't worry, he'll... No, I won't. So if somebody went ahead and had a baby... Anyway, whether it be years ago, few months ago, or next week, let me just say this. If you ask me to take care of your little bastard child, even for a day, I will say no. Every other weekend, I'll be laughing my ass off. No. Oh, sure, you could take me to family court and make me pay you a lot of money. Yes, you could do that. And if you did, I would, uh, I'm not a scoff law. I'm not a deadbeat. I pay my bills. And if I was forced to pay money to you 
because you procreated against my will. Uh, unfortunately, although the law is grossly unfair, uh, I would do what I am legally required to do, which is to give you money. I do that. But not in a million years, not in a billion years, would I have any contact with that offspring. Uh, I would not uh, care for him so you could go out and meet other poor saps who will end up having to pay you money. No, no. I, I just will not participate in any way, shape, or form. And nobody could guilt trip me into it. If my parents were alive today, they couldn't guilt trip me into it. Family members could not guilt trip me into it. Nobody could guilt trip me into it. I have no interest, and you can't make me do something I don't want to do. You can try, but you can't do it. If there's anybody out there who thinks that I am the father of their child, don't waste your time. Don't plan on knocking on my door. Don't plan on calling my cell phone. Don't plan on dropping in. I will resist you resolutely, and I will resist your child resolutely. And notice I say your child. If you think I impregnated you, keep it to yourself. I don't want to know about it. I like my life the way it is, and I don't want you changing it. If a phone call comes in and I don't recognize the voice, I'm going to hang up. Anyone who calls me claiming to be my daughter or son, forget it. The only sons I have, they call the Tom Likas show for advice. Those are my sons. But nobody's going to knock on my door and say they've got my DNA. And even if they do, I don't want to hear about it, don't want to know, don't want to get involved. And you can't make me feel badly about it because I couldn't make this any clearer. There are 11 forms of birth control available to women. I use condoms though I think they are flawed. And I make it clear, clear, clear that I don't want to have children. And over the years, I've made this clear over and over again. But the idea that a woman can go against my wishes and have a kid goes right along with everybody's moronic idea that women have these this so-called prerogative to change their minds or they can do something to make me change my mind or somehow they're going to change us. Oh, he doesn't want to be a father now, but wait, Lee, she's the face of his little kid. Oh, he'll want to be a father. No. I'm a grown man, and I know what I'm talking about, and I have not wanted to have a baby. I don't care how cute it is. I don't care what your game plan is. I won't participate. Wouldn't and won't. If you are so selfish as to press ahead and have a baby with my DNA anyway, whose fault is that? It isn't mine because you were fully informed. You have the option of ter terminating a pregnancy. You have the option of morning after pills. You have 11 forms of birth control you could have and should have been using. But uh, if you decide to go ahead and have a baby and then the kid has to uh, spend the rest of his life wondering why his father won't talk to him, it's not my fault. It's your fault. If I were to get a phone call, if I were to get a knock at the door and say, you're my daddy, uh, I just would close the door. I have no interest. And try, though you may, to make me feel guilty about this. You can't. I mean, look at me now. I'm standing here on... A number of radio stations talking to millions of people, making it clear to anyone who will listen, I don't want to be a parent. How much clearer can I make it? Anybody who has sex with me, if their plan is to get pregnant or their plan is to let whatever happens happen, it is their fault and their fault alone that a little boy or girl will say, where's my father? Who's my father? Why won't he talk to me? It's not my fault because I told you. Everybody knows this. You know what? I have never lied to anybody. I've never strung anybody along and said, well, we'll see what happens. We'll see. Maybe I'll come around. Maybe I'll change my mind. We'll see in order to keep getting laid, which is what so many guys do. Then the women think they're just stalling or they're just delaying or whatever. But 
I couldn't make it any clearer than I'm making it now. The answer is no. No, I don't want to be a parent. No, I didn't want to be a parent. No, if you became a parent with my DNA, no, I don't want to talk to your children. I don't want to play with them. I don't want to spend time with them. I want what I have. Peace, quiet, and happiness. And I have no interest in changing that up. Anybody got a problem with that? Tom Likas. 1-800-5800-TOM. 1-800-5800-866. I wanted to know what your idea of a perfect woman was. That would be a woman who turns into a six-pack and a sandwich after I have her. <laughs> That's all? Wouldn't you don't that, think that would no be, idea of a perfect woman at all? That would all? be perfect to me. I haven't met one yet, but uh, that would be perfect. <laughs> okay. <laughs> it's the Tom Likas Show. It's the Tom Likas Show. 1-800-5800-TOM. That's our telephone number. Thank you for tuning in. Thanks for being a part of our program. We appreciate it. All right. I've made it as clear as I can make it. Don't knock on my door and say, I'm your kid. It's not going to work. <laughs> 1-800-5800-TOM is our telephone number. By the way, if you're calling from another country, listening to us online, uh, you can uh, call us at this phone number. The country code is 1, the area code 323, and the number 520-6211. That's one three two three five two zero six two one one. I don't care where on the planet you're calling from. We will take your call. This is Don on the Tom Likas Show. Hello. Hello, Tom. How you doing? Great. Awesome. Anyways, Tom, it seems like you've been preaching for years about mainly about guys, why why get married. In fact, you're against it. We know your history. Uh, why get tied down, date when you want, who you want, how much you want to pay. Um, but neither of us should be na naive enough to think that whether you're married or single, that kids aren't going to come along. Kids are going to happen for whatever reason or w whatever's behind it, okay? Well, they, they are for some people and they aren't for others. I'm just saying there's a million reasons, and kids are going to come along. Well, they, do, they haven't come along for me. Let me give you that example. Uh, none have come along for me that I know of. Well, you you tend not to want to ever pinpoint some responses directed just to, to them. You always make generalities, and I think we have to do the same thing right here. Kids, sir, are going to come along. Not generally. I mean, sometimes they are, and sometimes they're not. Then let me ask you a question, please. Do you think kids... Uh, do you think people should not have kids? I think people should do whatever they like, but I think the guys who listen to this show, mostly they want to get laid. Mostly, uh, it's not that they want to be parents, it's that they want sex. And and what I'm encouraging them to do is to have sex in a responsible way. Don't have kids. I hear you, but here my point's a little deeper, and just generally speaking, I'm going to get to my point. Kids are going to come along, and I believe this is what's killing America is your little theory here, because the single... It's killing American America. I am killing, killing America. America. No, no, no. You're the, the theory of the theory of not not wanting to be tied down because the lady's being a, uh, a, the, the B word a bitch. here and there. Uh, yeah, okay. And the point... Why is, would anyone want to be with a single, bitch? It ends up in single-family homes, and that's fact, that's reality. Well, that's because that's the women chose that. You talked all day yesterday about... That is because the women chose that. Sir, for whatever reason, the point is... Well, no, 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 but America. for whatever reason, okay. don't don't you gloss over that. It, it is not just for whatever reason, it's for a very specific reason. Because a woman decided unilaterally to make a man a father when he didn't want to be one. They have chosen to be single parent households let by having children with unwitting participants. Let me flip another story. People got married with great intentions. They really wanted kids. It ended up not working out, like in my case. I come from a family of five, and, and my parents got divorced. I'm saying when that happens, when, pe when, when people call, guys calling every day about not getting it, not being attracted to their wife anymore, uh, it, the grass is greener out there, it ends up in divorce. 
just like all yeah, you. Yeah, because if the woman day. is a bitch, you should get the hell out of there. Yes. Awesome. I, you, you've been saying it for years, and I don't. I don't disagree because you know. I, I won't. I'll say because you don't think people should be miserable, which is fine. But the reality is, it ends up in uh, single parent homes. Whether it's financially, uh, what school the kid's going to be able to go to, is he going to mo- uh, be motivated to go into sports? Is he going to be disciplined to be home and get his homework done to get your, uh, good grades for what you preach to be able to go to college? Dude, it's a never-ending cycle and it's all attached. The the kids. Are well, maybe be, women uh, shouldn't be bitches. Lives. Maybe oh, women shouldn't be bitches. Then this wouldn't be a problem. But you know what? It. I will say this one last thing is that. A marriage is a business. If you have a business and you have a partnership and the partnership fails, you're out of business, okay? You, you'll never be out of business if you don't quit. When you quit, you fail. In your marriage, you quit, you get divorced, you fail. Well, okay, just like there's no failed. shame in failing in business if, if your business goes bankrupt. There's no shame in failing at marriage. Everybody's not cracked up for it. Everybody doesn't pick the right person. There are mergers in business uh, where two companies merge and the cultures of the companies clash. Example, uh, Mercedes-Benz and Chrysler merged together as a company. And uh, Daimler-Benz, as it was called at the time, or uh, well, uh, Daimler-Benz or daimler Chrysler, uh, that company uh, hemorrhaged red ink until finally they split up. And right. now the, 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 the lifestyle of the parent company, uh, Mercedes-Benz, has increased. And the lifestyle of the uh, wife in the deal, if you will, which would be Chrysler, uh, has deteriorated. Uh, and that's how it works sometimes. And I agree. It, you know, the, the woman is acting that way, and you're in that situation probably assuming the man is doing the right thing, acting like a man, taking care of his business, taking care of the vows that they told each other at the altar, what they should have and probably believed in at the time, okay? And you're saying 100, you know, pretty much always the time is... I say you get one life to live. Uh, there, yeah. are, the, it, it was Dr. Tony Grant, of all people, years ago, who said life is not a dress rehearsal. And you get one shot and so if you are miserable, you need to change that. And if that means getting a ball-busting bitch out of your life, then that's what it means. Hey, Tom, check this out, though. I think you'll like it. I don't know if people have told you this, but where you can't come from, from where I can come from two times over, sir, is that you've never been in the delivery room when your girlfriend or wife delivered your child. And when that happens, it's a big ego, uh, ego. You know uh, of, 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 uh, it's a volcano of ego, is what it is. You know what? It's a, it's I, a I, gusher. I think you have a dollar sign attached over glass on that little statement because I, I'm getting chills in my body because it's in my heart, it's in my blood, it's going through my whole body from head to toe it's right a big now. Big ego I trip. It's a okay. big ego trip. It's a responsibility. It's a burden. It's a hassle. It's a it's a re, it's a burden and that didn't exist until you created it. And I love it. It's a heart, man. It, it's a it's your blood. Well, I don't it's choose. I don't blood. choose to create burdens that later on I may not be able to uh, to take care of. You know what? And I commend you for that. That's awesome, bro. And that's what I'm talking about. The people that. And what I'm saying is, there's an awful lot of people out there who end up with a child who had no interest in that. They had an interest in getting laid. And, and the single-family homes, which is what's killing America. Well, Bottom then line. women should stop having kids without a man involved and without a responsible man involved. They should stop doing it. Well, Hang on a second here. Jason, what did you want to say to Don? Hey, listen, do you, I want to, I want to, you've been in talk mode for a while, dude. Listen for a second. Do you know what a bozo, what a clown you sound like calling in and saying, kids are going to happen. It's just going to happen. First of all, it's not just going to happen. You either make a choice to have a kid or you don't. Uh, secondly, you're arguing and contradicting yourself, dude. You're arguing against your own point, bro. Listen, uh, the whole point being that everything that you are describing, this awful single parent household and this volatile situation, having a ball busting bitch, yet kids right. are just going to happen. That's the very reason why a you don't get married, and b if you do get married, you don't have a kid. No, no, my point was people get good intentions, get married first, then have a kid, then it goes south. Okay? Yeah, exactly. That's and the way. point is, and, and the that's, point that's is, Tom's thing that's what the point is. Avoid the whole thing. Avoid the whole thing. Don't and get what, married. What don't have is, kids. Is this the end? Of is that the is that is that what you is that what you uh, is that what constitutes your value 
uh, in life and your, your sense of accomplishment is having a kid, can't you do something else? Everyone can have kids. Shoot, you can have five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, fifteen of them if you want. It's not a miracle. It's something that happens every day. In fact, it's the most easy, basic, fundamental thing that a human Who's being can do them? is have a child. Who's gonna take it's care no of big them? deal. Who's going to take care of them? Yeah, who is going to take care of them when, when you end up with broken homes and single, single uh, parents raising a kid? Who is going to take care of them? So don't that's you see you're point. arguing your, against your own point? No, that's the whole point. He's preaching, get out of situations, get out of marriages, don't get married. But bottom line is, whether you're married or not, kids, and especially when you're not married, kids... You, you ever heard the old saying, you ever heard the old saying, if you don't want to be mugged, don't walk down a dark alley? <laughs> You know what your the argument on that is that nobody will ever have kids again. Do you think that's the idea that this is the end of of, of the generation? This is the last generation. No kids. No, but I think no. But I do think that to a certain extent that would be awesome if a lot of the people that are having kids would slow down and stop having kids. If we just had it, if we just had, if we had some more, if we had some better planned, well thought out relationships and uh, kids coming from responsible people that have planned it out and thought it out and yeah if that meant that maybe uh that maybe uh we slowed down on the procreation i think that would be great there'd be less well, you know a lot what? less and problems I, I agree in the world with that. i agree with that if he's doing a service of of cutting that down that's great but so so i don't understand that's, that's can, you, can you back up point, your then. can you back up your initial your initial argument that kids happen that it's just inevitable because, because it's guys, not inevitable it's a deliberate choice to make a kid which, when I ask you, do you think this is the end? Is he preaching not to have kids? Does he think people will never have kids again? It's real simple. The, I, I as I, I always say on this program, and people think I'm joking, the poor and the stupid will more than make up for the slack. Yeah. Statistically, I think, Tom, you've said this before, and I've looked it up. Um, statistically, the less income you have, the more likely you are to have children. So... Yeah, and that means the less likely, le likely you are to provide your kids with what they need and what they want in a stable environment, um, and it becomes everybody else's burden. So, A, don't get married. B, if you're so in love and you need to get married, don't have kids. So, so yeah, that's what I would say. And, dude, you're I'm, calling I'm in saying that having children is inevitable, and then you're turning around and saying it's inevitable that you guys are going to end up in a divorce and there's going to be single-parent households and kids are going to be miserable and unhappy and aren't going to be able to have uh, play sports and yada, yada, yada. So listen to yourself. Well, if that's the that case, was, if that's the case, then you should be calling in saying, hey, I agree, don't have kids. Why, why, should, why is Tom... Uh, saying to all, Dude, it's all people guys, like you that don't think about what they're... You can't even think be. about what you are saying. You can't even think about what you, is coming out of your mouth. And you're the type of person that's going to produce more human beings that can't think about what they're doing or what they're saying. It's a, it's a cycle, and it's frustrating. I don't dislike kids. I don't dislike kids at all. I'm personally, I'm. I just turned 27, and I don't have a girlfriend. I don't have any kids. I'm loving my life. Eventually, maybe down the road, maybe when I'm in my late 30s or 40s, I might have a kid. But people that think that their only their their only sense of accomplishment is to have a child, and that and that it's inevitable that kids are going to happen anyway. So you might as well do it when you're 19 or 20 or 21. Those are the people that are raising, producing, and raising losers. Losers. Simple fact. All right, Jason, thank you for that. Well, let me get Nora on here. Nora, what did you want to say to Don? I want to, you know, this first guy that called in and said that having kids is inevitable. I mean, you know, just like this, this guy basically summed it up. It's like, since when did, did you, you know, not choose to have sex with somebody and, and produce a child? I mean, you know, you say that these women are bitches and, you know, they come through and, you know, don't, don't be with a bitch. Well, you know, wear a condom and then it doesn't have to be a problem. You know, I mean, these guys, you know, these guys are out there. They're acting like it's not their fault that they got some girl pregnant. If you, you know, done something yourself to think about it, it wouldn't even have come to that point, first of all. And second of all, I think there are a lot of things worse than, you know, single households. I think households where parents hate each other and all the kids are growing up with are 
our parents who can't rationally decide on anything and, you know, who make their kids feel like they're not loved. I think that's much worse than a single household where the mother knows how to take care of the kid or the father, even a single father, knows how to take care of the kid, is educating the kid, you know, is, is uh, you know, making them feel loved and, and at home. I mean, there's such a thing as a stable single household. So, I mean, this whole single parents is the problem of, uh, you know, this, this new generation. I mean, that's just a bunch of crap because, you know, it, it's not it's not so simple as saying that two parents are going to raise is are going to raise a, a good child. It, it really is not that simple, you know, and, you know, these girls are bitches. Well, you know, wear a condom. Don't don't get them pregnant and then you won't ever have to deal with them again. And but if someone is a bitch and you happen to be with them, you've got to leave. Come, come. Like this, like this. 1-800-5800-TOM. 1-800-5800-866. Do you have kids? By design, I do not. You don't? By design. By design? Yes. Exactly. By dictionary. Stupid bitch. It's the Tom Likey Show. Talking about um, my proclamation of this program that I have no interest in being a parent and uh, will always simply live up to the bare minimum what I am legally required to do, but I will certainly not be, uh, if you decide to have my bastard child, uh, you will not be welcome in my home, do not want to see him or her, do not want to hear about it, just tell me how much I, uh, what's wrong with that? Juan on the Tom Likas show. Hello. Hello, Tom Likas. Yes, sir. I have a little issue with you here now. Uh, well, apparently uh, you're saying... Is that a speaker phone, by the way, or just a bad phone? Uh, I believe it's a bad phone or something, I believe. Okay. Uh, anyway, uh, I hear you talk about like having a bastard child. What are you, what are you, what are, who are you or what do you care about people having kids? I, I'm not talking about. about other, I'm not. I'm not talking about other people having kids. I'm talking about myself. Well, uh, did, did you come any uh, issue with that? Uh, with a girl telling you that you're her uh, bastard uh, son? I mean, dad or anything? Uh, no, it has not happened. It is my worst nightmare. Uh, so why why you brought this topic up? Uh, because it is my worst nightmare. Okay, uh, I hear you, and, I, and I'm with you 100%, but I just don't like the fact of you telling other people what to do or not to do. I don't tell people care. what to do. I tell people, if you're with a bitch, get out. I agree 100%. Well, no, there you go. So what is it What is it that I've told people to do that you object to? Well, apparently I must have misheard you then, and my apologies. Oh, uh-huh. But I was, talking, I was calling for that matter, too, and, and saying about people having kids. I am a, well, not now I'm wealthy, but before I was poor, I come from a poor family, and I had kids when I was young, and, and thank the God they're still with me. Now I own half of this company. Now you guys tell me that poor people having kids, you know, I, I had kids when I was poor, and now I'm not poor anymore. I mean, you got something to say? Yeah, but as that? you know, that is the exception to the rule. Okay. So you trying to say I'm lucky, right? Well, I'll give you an example. Uh, uh, we talked about the guy who uh, he fell out a 46 story window uh, in, yeah. in an office building, and he lived. So does that wow. mean the rest of us should go up to the 46th floor and jump out? Not at all. Right. So Not just because you got lucky, pal, uh, doesn't mean that this is a good idea for the rest of us. Yeah, you're right. I, I agree. I agree. I agree. I just, like I said, I must have misheard you, so I, that's why I called. Pretty angry to try to. Tell I mean, you. I am here trying to help people. You know, I grew up in poverty, and I don't exaggerate that. I grew up, look up this zip code, 10457. It's the poorest zip code in America. Yeah, yeah. Worst right. murder yeah, rate, worst rape rate, uh, worst AIDS and HIV rate in America. This is where I grew up. Okay? okay, I am trying to help people avoid poverty, 
And I'm one way to avoid poverty people. is if you're in poverty, don't be having kids. Okay. Now, you, you make a lot of sense there. And uh, I'm sorry for misunderstanding what you said, but now that you made it all clear, I am 100% with you. And can you do me a favor and take me uh, out the government style? What type of takeout is that? Number nine. Oh, oh, him, the governor. Okay, here you go. Number nine. The remorse I feel will always be with me. From those to whom much is given, much is expected. Number nine. Number nine. Number nine. Number nine. It's one eight hundred five eight hundred. Tom, this is Deborah on the Tom Likas show. Hello. Hello, Tom. How are you? I'm great. Great. I want to tell you, first of all, darling, thank you so much for not having any children. Anytime, dear. I am a single mother. I was married, and my husband and I divorced, and I am now raising my 14-year-old daughter by myself. I am calling in because I take exception to the men that are calling in and basically acting like single-parent homes are the downfall of society. I happen to know quite a few women who are single-parent, be it through divorce or because they went out and decided to have children on their own. And they have wonderful, lovely children who have turned out to be great contributors to society. Some of them do, and some of them turn out to be the carjackers of the future. Exactly. I was going to say, I really have a problem with women who do go out and intentionally try to trap guys and get pregnant and just become baby-making machines. I have a problem with that. I just want the distinction made that there are situations where you wind up being a single mother, such as myself, because you were in a relationship. The relationship didn't work out. My husband and I were married 11 years. The relationship didn't work out. It was for the best interest of our daughter for us to be a part. It's better for her to be in a single-parent household than in a household with parents constantly at each other's throat. He and I are best friends now. He's gone on and remarried and has two other children, and we all get along quite well. Glad to hear it, Deborah. Thank you for the call. 1-800-5800-TOM is our telephone number. This is Ivan on the Tom Likas Show. Hello. Hey, Tom, how you doing, man? Doing great. Hey, uh, driving to school right now. I always listen to your show from uh, 4 to at least 5 o'clock. I'm stuck on the 5 South, and uh, I think you're great, man. Thank you. There's a lot of things I agree with you, a lot of things I disagree, but we're human. And uh, just wanted to make a comment, man. In this country, a child needs both his mom and his father till at least they're 18 years old. Anybody that I've met that comes from a single-parent family, I don't care how stable the mother was and how well they took care of them, they're missing out on something. There's always something wrong. And I don't like to judge people, but it's always obvious. And after down the line, when you talk to that person, you always get a little bit of a hint out of them, like, yeah, man, you know, my father not being around kind of messed me up, you know? Like, a, um, a boy needs his father the daughter needs his father, mom. They got to be together at least till they're 18. Man, kids, people get married. They have kids five years down the line. They hate each other. They get divorced. Divorce. These kids grow up to be messed up, man, and it and it and, and it screws up uh, the people around them too. We pay for it. They grow up to be confused. They don't know what to do with their lives. I see 18-year-old high school kids wa walking from school with their, uh, what is it, the stroller with kids just depressed. I mean, wh wh I don't understand what people think, man, when they have children. Children aren't like dogs. You can keep them for one week. You could spend time with them every day, and then the next week just feed them once a week and go out of town and come back, and the dog's cool, running around in the backyard. It's not like that. A child needs his parents every day, every single day, especially in this country, especially in L.A. It's corrupt, man. And people just don't know what they're doing. Like uh, women uh, trapping men to have kids with them. And, the, I mean, why would you trap someone to marry you? You know he's going to hate your guts and the kid doesn't want, doesn't going to want to be around with the kid. Because most you... women are delusional and they think that they're going to change us. Yeah, yeah. It's just crazy, man. I mean, okay, you find somebody, make sure 
when you have a kid, listen, you're going to be around for at least 20 years to raise this kid, get him up on his feet and have him, you know, you know, go walk the world and, and be a good person, man. People just go around, sleep around, have kids, this, that. One wife has three kids from different people. This is ridiculous, man. This isn't. It's, they think it's an apple pie, you know. Wrap yourself up, man, you know. Don't have kids with. When I meet somebody and says, "Oh, I got this is my stepbrother," this I go, "Man, what? I mean, what are these people thinking? I, I got one kid with one wife, two others with another one. I'm working on one with another wife. I mean, well, this is the example we're teaching our young children. That kid that grows up in that single mother's house, if it's a girl, he's gonna, she's gonna hate men." She's going to do the things that you say, Tom, rip men off, try to corner them. It's going to grow up exactly like you say, man. Guys, they're going to be dogs, sleeping around with women, using them. No matter what of a great person she is, no matter what family she comes from, he's going to treat her like crap because his father wasn't there or his mother wasn't there. His mother decided the dumb broad wanted to cheat on her husband after five years of being with them, decides, oh, I don't want to be with this guy. Yeah, he's the father of my child. I love him. But you know what? I don't. That's just stupid, man. It's just dumb. It's dumb. It makes me angry. Yeah, I understand it. A lot of these calls are making people angry here. 1-800-5800-TOM is our telephone number. It's Matt on the Tom Likas Show. Hello. Hello, Tom. Hi. I was wondering how Tom Likas secures that the women who he sleeps around with will have an abortion. And to elaborate on that, I mean, you always talk about how a woman could say, oh, yeah, when I have the kid, I'll get rid of it. Don't worry, but don't trust them. And even using condoms, you know, they're not foolproof. So how do you secure that? What well, do you do? for one thing, you never can secure it. Uh, there are things you can do to increase the likelihood that you're going to get it your way. For example, women are very cagey. Um, we don't listen to the way they phrase things. Uh, many times guys think a woman is saying one thing when she's really saying another. Example, I've had a conversation with a woman and I've said, what would you do if you got pregnant? And her response was, I don't think I'd have the kid. Mm-hmm. I don't think I have the kid means I don't know what I would do, or it means I'm lying. Yeah. So you have to understand, what I do for a living is to try to suss out what people are saying between the lines because I got two or three minutes to talk to every caller. Right. So I hear what someone is saying when they say, I don't think I'd have the kid. I think I'd have an abortion. Not good enough. So you want a no? You want that? I want I, mean, I, I want a guaranteed no. Somebody says, "Oh, no way!" I would. I, the last thing I want is to have children and and mean it. So you look for that uh, sincerity and uh, that, not uh, just sincerity. I look for certainty. And and any time somebody is undecided or not sure or pretty sure, not good enough. Wow. Uh, you must have a pretty uh, nice crop of women to uh, decipher from. Well, and the idea is you just keep uh, culling the wheat from the chaff. <laughs> That's good. Hey, uh, Tom, you blow me up? Of course I can. one 800 800 tom is our telephone number. It's Eddie on the Tom Likas Show. Hello. Father, how are you doing? Son, I'm doing great. That's great. You know, I wanted to comment on, uh, you know, I'm, I'm 32 years old now and uh, still have no kids. I am married. Uh, my wife and I did have one scare, and we had an abortion. Um, she agreed with me. Kids were not right at the time. We weren't uh, set in our life. We didn't own a house yet. We didn't have any, you know, we weren't, didn't basically didn't have the money. To, we couldn't afford a child. Um, that was... Uh, Actually, her idea, she was the one who first brought it up. But um, coming out of high school, I had quite a few friends that, you know, had kids right out of high school, got married, and now they have, you know, three and four kids, and uh, some of them by different women, so they're paying child support. They're constantly broke. They don't, you know, they can barely pay their bills, and they sit back and they think that I have life so easy because my wife and I actually have money in the bank and we, 
you know, we own a home now. We have toys. We have nice cars. And they say you're lucky. That's what they say about you. The Tom Likas Show.